in order to utilize um, chatter to collaborate in a sales capacity, there's many different ways that you can do this. Um, we'll be looking at utilizing chatter streams. Um, so I've clicked on this chatter tab and you can see here that I've got two streams compete in ROI. Um, and pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to test out um, a chatter post on a different opportunity and see how it flows into one of these streams. Now a stream uh, if I click a new one here so you can see how it's created, you can name your stream and then you can choose what records to follow. You can also, instead of choosing individual records, you can choose a topic. Uh, and when you choose a chatter uh, topic here or just a topic in general that you can reference in chatter, you can then kind of pick that topic here or multiple topics. <clears throat> so going into an opportunity, you see I have compete in ROI. So maybe you know, in this use case, what we're gonna imagine is I have a sales team and we want to flag all opportunities where we're dealing with a compete uh, or maybe um, one where we've had to do some special type of kind of ROI discovery, um, you know, some part of the sales process that we wanna flag. So if I go into an opportunity, let's say I'm a rep and I'm working um, this opportunity and I wanna say, hey, this is a good example um, of a compete opportunity. We have our one of our main competitors here uh, and we're, we're working on this deal. So I'm gonna say this is a good example of how to win deals versus competitors. Oops, oh, oh. Now I'm just posted on this opportunity. If I go into chatter and I go to the compete stream, you'll see that this post now pops up linked to the opportunity as well. So in a case where you wanna have uh, all your sales reps kind of sharing their, their information and sharing this best practices, you can see how kind of setting up a stream for those different topics uh, can help you facilitate that collaboration.